and open your Bibles to Psalm 1 as we read from verse 1 to 4. Psalm 1, from verse 1 to 4. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Your success in life it's actually in your hands. You know, this month we are talking about the rod of fire. Whether you succeed or fail, whether you are blessed or not, whether you prosper mightily or you just keep on struggling, it's all a matter of your hands. If you read Luke chapter 5 from verse 1 to 7, Luke 5, 1 to 7, you will discover that Peter fished all night and caught nothing. But then the rod of J.C., the one called Jesus Christ, entered into his boat and gave instruction. After he finished doing his own business, he now turned to Peter and said, cast the nets, launch into the deep, and then cast the nets. The same hands that have been casting the net all night long, that caught nothing, the same hands now cast the nets and came up with such a heavy catch of fish that he needed help to carry the blessing to the shore. I have good news for someone who has been laboring, working hard all these years with nothing to show for it. But because before this week is over, your hand will be holding the rod of fire. Whatever you touch from now on will begin to prosper. When you look at Second King chapter 2, from verse 9 to 22, Second King chapter 2, from verse 9 to 22, you see what happened to Elisha. Oh, Elisha was a very successful farmer. But he surrendered all and began to follow Elijah. And when Elijah was about to leave, he said, okay, what do I give you as compensation? He said, I want a double portion of your spirit. Elijah said, you have asked a hard thing, but if you see me when I'm being taken away from you, uh, you will get what you want. You know the rest of the story. He saw him when he was being taken away. And then Elijah dropped the mantle. The moment the hands of Elisha touched the mantle, Everything changed. Everything changed because this same farmer's boy now was able also to open River Jordan just like his master did. Because he has in his hand 
something that wasn't there before. First of all, let me prophesy to someone that from this moment onward, whenever you stretch your hands, every obstruction will part way. But the one significant thing that we need to see here is that when he now got back to Jericho, and the people of Jericho said, we have a problem. He told them, go and bring me salt in a new cruise. Ordinary salt in the hand of Elisha became something that can cancel a generational curse that had been on Jericho for years. And why didn't the people in the town just take the salt and go and pour it into the river? They could empty all the salt in Jericho into the river, the curse would have remained. But the salt in the hand of Elisha became a curse destroyer. I lift my hand to all of you who are here today. In that name that's above every other name, every curse in your family is over. When you read Genesis 26, from verse 1 to 16, Genesis 26, from verse 1 to 16, it tells you the story of Isaac. There was famine in the land, severe famine. And he had an encounter with God. God told him, because he was planning to Japa. But God told him, no, don't move. Just stay here. And do what I command you to do. And see what I would do. Isaac sowed in the land. That's what the Bible tells us in verse 12. And his multiplication began. He became so wealthy that the king of the nation came to him and said, Sir, you are greater than us. Please move on. All the other people in the nation, they also have hands. They were also sowing. But one hand was different from the others. One hand was producing abundance while others were producing next to nothing. And because he was producing abundance, everybody had to come to him to buy. As a result, he prospered so mightily, he became bigger than a whole nation. In the name of the one who sent me, your hands will change this week. And from now on, whatever you touch will prosper. Yeah. Well, let me close. Because I want to give you time to pray this morning. When you read John chapter 6, from verse 5 to 13, John 6, 5 to 13, Jesus Christ wanted to feed a crowd and there was no food. But there was a young boy there who surrendered his lunch. As long as the lunch was in the hand of this boy, it was a boy's lunch. But the moment he handed it over to the hand of the one who is called the all-sufficient God. Suddenly, the bread and fish began to multiply. 
multiplied so much that more than 5,000 people were fed, and there were 12 basket extras to carry to that boy's house. Until you hand over your business, your finances, to the one who can do the multiplication, it will remain just as it is in your hand. The Bible said clearly in John chapter 12, verse 24, John 12, verse 24, that except a corn of seed falls, a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it will abide alone. But the moment it falls into the ground, then it begins to increase. I'm not talking to you this morning about ordinary sowing. I'm not talking to you about ordinary giving. I'm not talking to you about uh, giving an offering. I'm talking to you about surrendering all your life, your business, your finances, everything you are into the hand of God. Because the moment you do so, you have handed that thing to the one who is the baptizer with fire. And every bit of him is fire. And when you put your finances in the hand of the one whose very hand is fire, dramatic changes will happen. I'll tell you just one testimony and then it will be time to pray. We've just returned from a trip to South Africa. On one of the days, they asked all the businessmen to gather in a room so I can talk to them. They wanted prayers. And I told them, your business will prosper. They all said, Amen. I said, but if you are looking for miraculous prosperity, you have to make Jesus Christ your senior partner. All this idea of uh, whatever is left over, I give to Jesus. You leave that out. If he becomes your senior partner, he will dictate to you how to run the business. And I told them of a man who started a business, story you have heard before, who started a business with $500 and told God, I will not insult you with tight. I will keep the tight. You take the 90%. If you like, bless this company. If you like, it's up to you. It's yours. And in five years, his $500 had become more than $50 million. They had the story. They all made a commitment that from that moment onward, they will hand over their company, their businesses, their finances to God. And I prayed for them. By the second day, one of them got up to make a testimony. He said for five years, government sat on his money. The money they owed the company. Millions of rents. They just refused to pay. He used everything. He used relationship with the high and mighty, he went to court, he did this, he did that, nothing. In less than 24 hours, they called him. They begged him to please allow them to pay the money in three installments. 
and they, are, they will give him whatever interest that is necessary. When you hand over to God, your hands will become a hand that is holding the rod of fire. Everything you touch will prosper. Every obstruction to your road will vanish. Everything that is slowing you down will be consumed by fire. Stand on your feet and shout hallelujah. And how can you submit your business, your finances to God when you have not submitted your own self to Jesus Christ? That's why the first step you must take is surrender your soul to Jesus Christ. Hand over to him and say, from now, take over. You must come to him first before you can even begin to talk about fi your finances. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy lady, and I will give you rest. Stop laboring. Come to one who can give you rest in every facet of your life. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, I'm going to count from one to five. Before I say five, make sure you're already standing before the altar, and I will pray for your salvation. And then you can talk to God about your finances. So I'm counting now. Those of you who want to give your life to Jesus, come quickly. One. Two. The choice is yours. You can keep on struggling, keep on laboring, or you come and have an encounter with Jesus today. He will save your soul. And he will change everything drastically for the better. Three. Hi, precious saints. Thank you so, so much for staying soon with us till this time. We believe this message has been a wonderful blessing, impactful and inspirational teaching to you. We also trust that your life in no small way has been blessed. Your eyes have been opened. The eyes of your understanding have truly been enlightened. That which eyes have not seen, that which ears have not heard, that which God is set to do has not come even unto the heart of any man. Thank you so, so much for being part of this wonderful story of God and also imbibing in his plan. Thank you for al aligning to the will of the Father. On this channel, we are committed to seeing that your life is changed, that your life is transformed. And through the word of the Lord by his servants, that the EA Adeboye, seeing that your life remains forever changed. The Bible said, they that walk in light and even the day shall not stumble for darkness sake. We trust that God has truly been gracious even unto you. And also would like you to stir up your faith, build up your most holy faith. The scripture said by praying in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the spirit, pray talking to God your Father, even as you've listened to this message. Pray telling him that Lord, this will become effective in my life. My life must be changed. My life must be impacted positively my life will not remain the same insist that god's word find expression even in your life even by prayer god bless you so much and if you are a new viewer i would like you to hit the subscribe button to also subscribe to this channel so as to also keep following us on more videos even as you hit the notification bell do well to share this video to your loved ones family and friends and to see that they too become blessed. We love you so much and thank you. God bless you.